Um, look at this. Three causes of renal failure. What would you guess? Pre-renal, intra-renal, and post-renal. There we go. Our favorite trio there of what we have to work with. So pre-renal is obviously going to be before the kidney, intra-renal right in the meat of the kidney, and post-renal <laughs> will be after the kidney. So <clears throat> we pay attention to this even though we're seeing a really common theme like we did with hepatic and some other issues because if we understand what caused the renal failure, that's the only way, it's our best chance of resolving it, looking at the underlying cause. So this means that some reason the renal blood flow is reduced. Something outside of the kidney caused me to have a reduced renal blood flow. So anything like hypovolemia, dehydration, burns, decreased cardiac output, shock, CHF, or a renal artery thrombosis. Now that one doesn't happen very often, but think about it. If you've had your critical care rotation yet, how often does someone's blood pressure drop in a critical care unit? And what's the first one that's going to take a hit? Kidneys are the ones that are going to take a hit. So you start thinking, it's an event. If my patient's blood pressure drops, it's not okay if you, whoa, well, we just got it back up. That's really not good enough. You need to start thinking and considering, um, how long was my patient's blood pressure down and how are my kidneys doing after the effect? What, how are they? So pre-renal can be anything that just decreases the perfusion to the kidneys. And it can be something as simple as too low on volume, we over them, or they have CHF or failure. So start rolling that around. These are not really glamorous reasons, but they're things that happen all the time. How many times do you think we overlook someone in acute failure? I bet it can happen a lot. Okay, now intrarenal. This is a direct damage to the renal tissue, the parenchyma. Uh, 35 to 40 percent of the cases end up right there. So this is from nephrotoxic drugs. Nephro meaning kidney, toxic meaning, ooh, really not a good idea. So either nephrotoxic drugs, malignant hypertension. Do you know if hypertension is left untreated, your kidneys really do take the hit. Another sign of that is when you see protein dumping into your urine, letting you know the kidneys are having a hard time with that. Now, like anything else, autoimmune disease. If you happen to have a disease that chooses to eat these organs, really pick up on them, then they have some real intrarenal damage or a hemolytic blood transfusion reaction. Now, why would that be? They get all clogged up. Because we have a hemolytic reaction where we've got all those red cells. So, wow, you can see how a blood transfusion reaction, it makes more sense why two of us have to go on the lab and have to sign, and we're so ultra careful with that, and still, we absolutely can still have some issues. Because those um, red blood cells, when they're, poof, when they're destroyed, they take out your liver, your spleen, your kidneys. They go everywhere. So intrarenal, I can either take a drug, and I'd really recommend you kind of look back and see, there's some antibiotics that are nephrotoxic, aren't they? Nephrotoxic and ototoxic. That'd be worth your while to review those when you're preparing for a big exam. Well, we're up to postrenal, and this would just be a mechanical obstruction. Now, ha how many of you, anyone work in ER? Okay. Anyone who's ever spent any time in ER, they can see a kidney stone patient coming a mile away. Well, you can hear them two miles away, but time they get to ER. Usually ER nurses are not necessarily so compassionate with people with kidney stones because they know what it is and it's probably not going to kill them, but it is excruciatingly painful because I have met women who have had both a childbirth experience and a kidney stone experience, and they would take the child for 200 again versus a kidney stone again. So um, it's really a huge issue. So it's a mechanical obstruction, either it can be, um, for anyone it can be a kidney stone, for men it can be BPH, right? Uh, it can be a tumor or trauma. So pre-renal, tell your neighbor.